Okay, welcome back to another episode of our platformer tutorial. Um, so far, we've been able to make our player, and we have done a little bit of uh, giving him control, and he can interact with these uh, platforms here. Um, so just to play our game, show you what we have. He jumps, you go left, right, he doesn't actually turn or anything like that, he just kind of stays in the same like, sort of general direction. So that's not that great, and we don't have any enemies or anything like that. And he falls off and dies and nothing happens. Alright, so uh, what we're going to do is add a little bit more character to our character. And uh, we're first going to make it so that when he uh, when he turns or turns around, uh, the animation will be different. Or he'll at least about face himself kind of right now. So we'll do that and then we'll add some animations after that. We're going to create a new object. Um, a keyboard object, which is very easy to do. So just double click, make sure you're on the main layout. We're going to double left click on anywhere on the layout, and we're going to look for the keyboard object. So when I scroll down, there we go, under input, keyboard. So we're going to insert that, and it says add a keyboard object available to the entire project. Great. And that's it. So um, now that we've done that, we'll come back to that later. Uh, now what we're going to do is go to our player, and we're going to, uh, oh, gosh, keep going and go there. No, we're going to go to the event sheet. And now we're going to add a new event for our player so that when we press keyboard buttons, uh, the player's image will shift, or it'll actually mirror in this case. Okay, so we're going to add uh, an event. The event is going to be for the keyboard object. We're going to click on that, click next, and now what we're going to say is uh, for the keyboard, and it's nicely highlighted here for me already, uh, on key pressed. So I'm going to click next, and now it'll ask me which key do you want, and I want the left arrow key. So I'm going to press the left arrow key and it shows up nicely right there. Okay, if you notice you'll press other keys on your keyboard and it'll show up the names, but what we want is the left arrow key. So I click OK, and I'm done with the condition, and now for the action that is connected to that condition, I'm going to click Add Action, and my player is going to be the object that will be acting. And in this case, what we want to do is actually mirror his appearance. So there's Appearance section, and we'll say Set Mirrored, click Next. And there's only two states you can have, mirrored or not mirrored. So in this case, when I'm pressing left, uh, our guy is actually going to be mirrored from the original image that we have on file. So he's going to you know, flip around. Okay, so I'm going to say yes. That's what I want to do. All right. And that's it for our event right now. So actually, if you hit play, so right, looks like that, left. Oh, he turns around. But when I press right, he doesn't actually go back. So that's an issue. Okay, so just to make sure, actually, as we saw our guy not turning back around when he turns right, we're going to do the same, uh, what do you call it? Same event, uh, but we're going to switch it for the right direction. So again, choose the keyboard object, hit next, and then again, we're going to select the on key pressed. Thing and uh, hit next here. And the key we're going to choose again is the right arrow because when he turns right, we want him to flip. So, right arrow, done. And now, player is our object that will be doing the action. And we'll go to set mirrored again. But this time, instead of the state being mirrored, we're going to say not mirrored. So, our appearance will just look not mirrored, or the usual direction it's supposed to look. Okay. So, now if we go here, now we press left, right, left, right, left, right, and it flips back and forth. Wonderful. Alright. Alright, let's go back to the layout, because um, what we're going to do now is what we're, our main topic is today, which is adding animations. So, animations uh, will give our player a little bit more life when he's moving around. And so to do that, 
uh, we need to go to the uh, animations bar okay which again is for the player so actually click on the player oops not that change it double click on the player and it'll bring you up to the animations bar what we're going to do is actually add an animation up here so right now we have animation one which is actually just idle and it might be helpful to actually name that idle because animation one is not very descriptive uh, i'm going to right click to add an animation there we go and i'm going to rename this animation two to idle to run okay camel case and no spaces idle to run all right now we're going to go down to the animation frames window down here and we're going to do the same thing we had done a long time ago importing frames so down here import frames and we're going to do that from a strip so left click then on that it'll bring that up and now we just have to figure out which one we want and the one that we want is nicely labeled thankfully idle to run huh. imagine that all right once we open it it'll ask us to verify some details so nicely for us it is already figured out that there's seven cells uh, horizontally and one vertical cell and directions horizontal that's fine do not replace entire animation and then now we import and boom we have let's go down here yeah, there we go oh, actually we could just move this now we have our animation of him going from idle to run uh, we don't want this blank initial frame so we're going to delete that okay and then uh, if you remember what we did before we wanted to crop all of this extra blank space out here because that really is not helpful to have so again what we do is press shift and then click oh wait make sure we're selected yeah one of them press shift hit the crop button and boom okay squishes our nice box down to a size that just is manageable here and the other thing don't forget that we need to do is also move our origin point which if you can barely see is right there down to the bottom okay so again go over here to image points right click on the origin and we're going to go down to quick assign that to the bottom all right now remember that only does it for the one frame you're selected on everybody else is the same so we want that to be applied to the whole animation we click on this and now all of them should have the origin point down here at the bottom all right great so we have added a new animation idle to run now we're actually going to add three more animations basically doing the same setup that we i just led you through okay so right click add animation the animation that we want to add this time is the run animation. So I'm going to hit run or change its name to run. Then right click under down here, the frames window. I'm going to import frames from strip again. And I'm going to look for the run PNG file. Open that. It'll say, oh, there's 21 horizontal cells, one vertical cell. Thank you for doing that for me. Import. And now we have you can see down here 21 uh, frames for our running animation and uh, there we go see him run slowly okay and I'm gonna do the same thing we did before remember we shift crop okay so now everybody has been shift and cropped and then oh, I apologize for that construction noise by the way if you could hear that and then we're gonna change the origin point so again right click on origin quick assign down to the bottom and we're going to apply the whole animation as well so now ooh, do not do that sorry I just was moving my origin point which I should not I was trying to move through the frames let's see how far did that move off uh, a little bit I guess I'm moving back somewhere around there. Oh, actually, you know what? Just to make sure, I'll just quick assign it back to the bottom. 
There we go. Uh, well, that was a one or two pixels. Off. All right. Great. So we did that for run. Now, oh, that's interesting. Why are you still in the middle number seven frame? What about eight? Yes. All right. Hmm. That's very interesting. All of you have. Okay. Well, let's do this again. All right. Back to I clicked on frame zero. And I click, right clicked on origin. I want to apply to whole animation again. So I just reclick that. And now, good, frame 9, 10, 12, 13. 12 is still in the origin. See, I think this is a bug in Construct 3 because it should not do this. For some reason, frame 12 is still in the center. And let's see if any others are. 15 is still in the center. 16, 17. 18, 19, and 20, which they definitely should not be. All right, so now we got to go back here. Uh, 12. Let's just start with 12. We're going to quick assign to the bottom, and then we're going to again apply to whole animation. So now everyone should be on the bottom of their frame. Yes, good. All right. Okay. If you miss that point, and when you hit play, you should see um, your character acts like jump up randomly during animations. And if that happens, if it sort of has this weird hop in the middle, it's because this origin point, uh, for some reason in some frame, is still in the center of your guy. So you just have to come back here and reset the origin down to the bottom. Okay, I don't know why uh, their thing doesn't do that for the whole animation like it should. Anyway, all right. We are going to add two more animations, jump from run, and then jump from stand. Okay, so add animation. I want to rename. There we go. Jump from run. Okay, I'm going to right click down here, import frames from strip. And look for a jump from run, which is right here. Click open. Has 18 horizontal cells, one vertical cell. Now remember, don't forget to delete the first one. The first blank, I should say. Ooh, did I do that on run? Yeah, I did. Okay. And then also shift crop to cut all that nicely. Everybody's back there. And then change the origin to the bottom. Okay, now let's hope this does this the first time so I don't have to keep checking, which is really annoying. Apply to the whole animation. So it did not do that. Huh, it did not even do it for anybody. All right, once again, right click, apply to whole animation. There we go. Okay, good, good, good. Everyone good? Nope, apparently only eight. And nine. Uh, all right. Do it again. Let's see. Good. Eight, nine. Now got it. Ten. No. Eleven. No. Twelve. Okay. Strange bug they have here. But let's just try again. Apply to whole animation. Ten. Now it's at the bottom. Eleven at the bottom. Twelve at the bottom. Okay. Good. Everyone's. Good. All right. Finally. All right. Add one more animation called jump from stand. Yeah. Click on that. Same thing. Right click. Import frames from strip. Jump from stand is right here. 21 cells horizontally, one vertical. Wonderful. Delete the first blank one. Remember, shift crop to get rid of all of the excess space. At least that happens for all of them, that's good. Here, remember now origin's gotta go to the bottom. Click assign bottom, great. That happens for just that frame. So we're going to do apply to whole animation, which as we've seen has had some issues. Yes, again, I'm just so All right, so uh, let's try again. Um, click on origin, origin apply to the whole animation, and we've got most of them, probably. Let's see, six, seven, again. I'm just gonna do it like three times. Let's see, apply to whole animation. 
apply to whole animation. All right, hopefully that was enough. Oh, oh, that was really dumb of me. So I applied, setting the origin back to the middle. Again, okay, let's do this again. Quick assign bottom. Stay on the frame where the origin is back at the bottom. And now apply to whole animation. And I'm just gonna click on this a few times to make sure that it has happened to most of them. Although I definitely cannot be confident that it has happened to all. Yep, there we go. So see some down here. Did not get it. Oh, 12 got it randomly. Okay. All right, back to zero. Let's see. Now, let's see. Nine got it. 10, 11. Good, 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 good. Good. And the last row did not. Okay. Let's apply the whole animation again. Origin is now at the bottom. Great. Okay. There we go. So we have our five animations. All right, and lastly, actually, what we're going to do is change a little bit of the different properties in here for each animation, just to make them run a little smoother later. So for jump from stand, okay, that animation, what we're going to do is change that speed to 22, or from five, sorry, to 22. And then uh, we are going to keep loop unchecked and everything else fine. Okay, so that's good for that. And all these other ones, we're actually going to change their speeds to 15. So jump from run, bring that to 15. Run uh, will also be 15. And actually, we're going to loop it because if our guy is running for a long time, then you know we just want it to keep repeating and repeating and repeating. Idle to run also speed will be 15. Okay, and that should be it for just a little things here. Yeah, now we can close this window, right, and save, because that was a lot, and we definitely do not want to lose that stuff. All right, and we'll see you in the next video.